Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is right around the ninth of the month that we will have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is happening in the sign just before yours, which gives it a particular dreamy quality for you. Chances are there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes and underneath the surface. There's a whole lot going on on levels of spirit and soul and psyche. But what's really amazing is that we've got this beautiful alignment between this full moon and Mars, which does suggest energy. It suggests a very active inner life playing out at this time. So your dreams may be especially vivid now. It might be harder to rest, but it's actually working out in a good way. It's not like a restless energy, but rather it is an energy where there's uh, so much of a connection between your unconscious and your conscious life that there just isn't as much reason to get rest as you may otherwise need. At the same time though, this can be a very creative time, especially where it comes to connecting with the unconscious and stream of consciousness type of writing or creation. I also really like this part of the sky for its connection to karma and good karma as well, and where it is that you are hoping to tap into a deep wellspring of energy. Well, it is this time that can provide that to you. Now, I would also add this part of the sky has to do with karmic closures and what those closures are for you. Well, chances are they'll be especially fortunate. You'll be really grateful about what it is you're ready to put behind you at this time so that you can embrace your future that much more. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon will be speaking in harmony with Uranus and with Mars as well. And what is amazing about this new moon is, well, in addition to the fact that Mercury goes retrograde in the same part of the sky a week before we have the new moon, well, this is in your opposite sign. And it has to do with other people. Partnerships of all kinds are covered here. Business partnerships and professional alliances as well. With a new moon, it tends to bring with it new opportunities and new possibilities. With that beautiful connection to Uranus, well, chances are you're feeling especially lucky right about now and feeling as if you're able to connect with the right person at the right time. Um, and it can feel very much like new opportunities to forge alliances are showing up here for your shared and mutual prosperity. However, because Mercury is retrograde in this part of the sky, I would say it is probably better to reconnect with people than it would be necessarily uh, to welcome in brand new alliances. And I would invite you, now sometimes you can't help it, it is what it is, you have to trust your life, but I would invite you to be a little bit cautious about signing agreements to align with another person especially if it's going to be the type of partnership that is expected to be solid or long lasting. With Mercury retrograde in this part of the sky, uh, there may be some key details that you are not seeing clearly at this time. But for all that, where it is that you're reconnecting or realigning or meeting someone again, and this time you're thinking about what you could do together, well, this is beautiful energy to do just that. And it's beautiful energy to get together with others for creative ideas and inspiration. That can be tremendously valuable for how it is that it creates a momentum you're able to carry forward from here. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this new moon is a very powerful energy in the context of love. It is one of the high points for you now in the context of love because it is partnership of all kinds and that includes romantic partnerships as well. As I said, Mercury retrograde is in your opposite sign. And what that means is lovers and partners from the past, well, they have a tendency of showing up. You are one of the signs most likely to feel as if past partners are popping up, perhaps by surprise, into your life now. There might be a desire to try again in some instances, but for others, it may just be another perspective. And it may just be a reminder of how far you've come or how much you've changed that makes you grateful for the future that you continue to move towards. So if you're open to meeting someone new, 
when Mercury is retrograde in your opposite sign, plus that new moon a week later, well, yeah, chances are it may feel like a fresh start with someone that you were partnered with before. Chance encounters with people from the past can happen and that can open up that sense of possibility of connecting with them once again. And if it feels as if that person isn't necessarily uh, someone you're connecting with, it may be you that is especially nostalgic at this time, looking to the past and hoping and wanting and trying to find if there is the possibility of another chance with this person. But it may very well be that person who comes back around wondering if there is another chance with you. For those of you who are just starting to date someone, um, this can be very powerful insight into whether or not this feels like someone that you can partner with. Now, on the one hand, with that new moon energy, that quick moving energy, there may be that sense of wanting to partner with this person. But with that Mercury retrograde, it could be that you realize how similar this person is to someone from your past. That may be part of what helps illuminate for you uh, what it is that has drawn you to this person and getting to know this person more. And for those of you who are in an established bond, what a powerful time this can be. This can be one of those times where you are feeling as if you're getting to know your partner more deeply. I really like that energy of surprise and delight that is happening around the new moon. Now, where it is that there were some things that maybe uh, were not looked at in depth or uh, maybe some you know confusion or hurts that you've been holding on to, well, it is going to be this Mercury retrograde that helps the two of you to look at what was to truly leave it in the past so that you can move forward as part of this larger Mercury retrograde season. What I love about this month for you, well, I'm going to say that beautiful new moon that is happening in your opposite sign because it suggests a uh, new energy, new momentum coming in with people that you are aligned with. And there's this sense of people wanting to align with you, wanting uh, to join forces with you in some way for shared happiness, for shared prosperity, for shared business advantages, professional advantages, but personal as well. Now, regardless of how it is that this energy unfolds, understand that there is a connection to what's happening now and what has been before and the people that you've attracted into your life before. And as you make those connections, you're able to bring to light more of what it is that you want the people you partner with to be. And with that clarity, you find yourself attracting the right kind of people at the right time. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.